This is how you can fully optimize your mouse and keyboard in order to get less input delay in Fortnite. The main goal of this video is especially to optimize your keyboard to even make your normal mechanical one as fast as possible, closer to optical ones. I'm about to show you step by step exactly what you need to do, so therefore make sure to follow all of my instructions and don't forget to subscribe. And the first tool which we're gonna be using guys is Hedis BF. You can by the way get it on my official website and as it already says here in the description, USB devices rate setup. And this is exactly the pulling rate and you're probably asking yourself what it means. Basically every mouse, keyboard or controller has a pulling rate. Depending on how high it is, the less milliseconds delay you actually have, guys. In comparison, 125 hertz to 1000 hertz is a difference of 7 milliseconds. And a ton of gaming peripherals actually come with a preset of 125 or 250, which is of course a lot slower than something like 1000 or even 500. We basically now here have a selection of all the devices which are plugged in into my PC. And sometimes if you have a custom keyboard or maybe like a keyboard from a little bit more unknown brand, it actually doesn't say straight up from which brand it is or that it is a keyboard at all. So you get a try it out yourself guys just simply click for all of these and then you can try to maybe type on the keyboard and if you can see now a okay i can still use it then you know this is not your keyboard and i found out actually that the third one here is my keyboard because once i click on a restart i actually can't use it for a certain amount of seconds before it actually restarts and what you want to make sure is actually then select your current keyboard then you're going to go down here to this drop down menu where it says default and click under a thousand hertz polling rate and this is exactly already everything which we have to do our rate is now set to a thousand hertz and then you're going to click under install services and you can see it's just going to take a second and click under restart again and now once actually your keyboard is restarted it will be forced to run at a thousand hertz pulling rate which is of course a lot faster again in comparison to what we had before by the way if your keyboard doesn't turn back on you actually just simply have to use another usb port on the backside of your pc once you restart it it's going to be fine again and you can switch back to the old usb port i just want to give you that extra tip and we can do the same thing as well guys with our mice or with our controllers no matter what you want to do if i go here now under all and i would theoretically plug something in like my elite series 2 controller it would be showcased here and I could actually manually overclock it to a thousand hertz pulling rate. The GF booster made it possible for me to get zero to 10 ping in Fortnite and this is exactly how it works. Usually there's only one main server on each Fortnite region but they're actually small sub servers and Fortnite might randomly connect you to a server which actually can give you a worse ping. But with the GF booster you can actually connect specifically to the best ones with the least amount of latency. The GF booster will not only make your connection more stable and lower your ping but it will also stabilize it and reduce lag spikes. So if you're currently struggling with high ping the GF booster can help you out and lower your ping significantly since we all know how important low ping is in Fortnite. This is especially super useful during peak times, you know, at the weekend when everyone is hopping on Fortnite to really find the best game servers in your near for the least amount of ping. So especially if you're suffering from bad internet in general, guys, this can be your number one solution. Of course, keep in mind that it really depends from region to region, but the GR Booster is trying to provide you with the best connection. In general, the GR Booster is also a lot more affordable than general VPN services, so therefore make sure to check it out. Also, when it comes down to the user interface, it's really easy to use. All you guys gotta do is scroll through the entire list of all the games which are supported pick out exactly the one which you want to use which of course for me here is fortnite then the gf booster is going to reduce your ping by redirecting your network to a dedicated pathway to avoid heavy traffic routes which is going to result in lower ping again imagine it like taking a private jet directly to your destination instead of having a regular flight with multiple stops so therefore guys definitely make sure to check out the gf booster with the link in the comments and in the description below now in this next step guys what we want to make sure to do is actually go into a windows search bar and type in the device manager and open it up and once you open it up it should look exactly like this here and what we want to look for guys in this list is system devices you're going to click on the small arrow and open it up and in here what i want you to do is make sure to disable the following devices first of all we have the composite bus enumerator which you want to just simply make sure to right click on and disable it i of course already did it so for me it only says now enable and then we're going to scroll down a little bit more and this is super important guys the high precision event timer disabling the service will actually reduce your latency a lot on your current system guys for any peripherals which you plugged in no matter if it's a mouse and keyboard maybe a controller even no matter what you use it will work for literally any of these but since this guide is focused on mice and keyboards of course guys this is the main topic so therefore what you want to do is make sure to right click onto it and make sure to fully disable it if you want to know more about this topic just simply put it real quick into google there's like a perfect description where you should actually disable it and then additionally guys you can also disable actually the microsoft virtual drive enumerator as well once you applied all of these here you're already good to go all you got to do is close this and real quick restart your pc afterwards and in this next step guys we're going to take a look at malwarebytes and this 
one is actually one of my favorite tools of all since it can remove any sort of malware, spyware or any unwanted software on your PC which could somehow slow it down. And trust me guys, there's so many people out there who have some fishy tools on their PC which are in the background maybe causing some issues or which overall just simply take up the resources of your PC. So all you guys gotta do is basically click again on that link on my official website guys. And once you get it installed on your PC, all you guys gotta do is click under scanner. This is by the way the free version so therefore you should be chilling 100% and let it scan through your entire PC guys. It's gonna check for updates, it's gonna check for memory, startup items, registry and your system files. So therefore if there's any issues on your current PC build, Malwarebytes is gonna find it 100%. And you can see here right now items scanned already over 300 right now. Looks everything pretty good on my PC. It just jumped up to 90k okay. And once you're done with it you just can be sure that there's no issue which has been caused by your actual gaming PC that you out of nowhere maybe suddenly have high input delay. And there you can see it guys I scanned my whole entire PC and as you can see there are no issues whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is close the tool and just simply maybe keep it on your PC. Do this like once a month. I can see literally top tier pros in any esports having this on their PC. And super important guys in this next step we have two of the best registry tweaks which you can actually apply for your mouse and keyboard in order to get less latency. You can by the way also find it on my official website in this pack as well. And what we want to do is open up keyboard and in there now we have keyboard registry tweak. What we got to do is click on it. That's going to ask us now do you want to apply the following tweaks? We're going to click under yes and then we can see the keys and values then in the following registry have been changed successfully. We're going to go back and apply the same one for mouse. Make sure you click under yes again then we can see now here the keys and values have been changed again. And this one is basically going to make sure to adjust in your registry that the communication time between your mouse and keyboard and your PC is as low as possible. Once both are applied you can already restart your PC again and you're good to go.